Happy St. Patrick's Day. I got my green shirt on. It's like a little after two in the afternoon. I just got showered. I did work this morning. I'm like, I'm going to shower later. We're going to go to the... There are snowflakes coming out of the sky. I mean, it is winter, but still, that took me by surprise. I think it's only in the 30s today. Yeah, it's snowing. Going to the Elks for St. Patrick's Day. Check it out when we get there. Um, the only thing we've ever gone there for is for veterans dinner. So this is going to be a new experience for us. Dad has golf on in there. He's in there getting dressed. I said, fine green. So that's what we're getting ready to do. They opened at two. Food starts at three. We're going to get there a little early. Uh, so yeah, bye. See our snowflakes? I'm getting ready to go to the van. Going down the going down the thing we are but yeah snowflakes coming down all right we're heading out hello van i'm coming waiting for daddy he had to go change his shoes he had his wrong shoes on um yesterday we got up in the morning and went to the legion for breakfast i've been there a long time where he's like hey how are you doing <laughs> so uh i ate on that all day because you can get two biscuits and gravy, scrambled eggs and sausage patties or links. It's like $9 and a cup of juice. But I sub my scrambled eggs out for a waffle. So I got it to go to bring home to eat. Dad ate there. So when I got home, I ate my waffle and a, one of my sausages. And then later on, I had biscuits and gravy. And then she came around and goes, hey, he's in there cooking these. Take a couple of these. It was uh, those uh, potato things like McDonald's have. Here he comes, he's all ready. He was so sad he couldn't find anything green. So he wore a hat that's, that's kind of green. He's like, I can't find any green clothes. <laughs> okay, bye. Oh, it looks much lighter on, Dad's over there talking to somebody about military stuff already. That's where they're gonna set up the buffet in a little bit. But it's dark in here, but on here it doesn't look that dark. But all right, check in again later. Cabbage, potatoes, carrots, corned beef. This is a little casserole thing, a, a Reuben casserole. There's dad's plate. Now we're going to enjoy. Oh, look, I got a bracelet. I got a necklace, which is right here. Yeah, you got everything. I don't you think you can see it. There it is. Let me turn you around. I'll show you. There's my necklace. I'm waiting for her to bring out salt and pepper. Just salt for me a little bit. We just got home. What do we have? Oh, corned beef, cabbage. Really good. Really good. Potatoes, carrots. You can make a panini if you wanted one. Panini. Panini. What does say a Reuben? You can make yourself a Reuben. Reuben there, they had everything. Really yeah, good. Really, yeah. The cook lady, I was talking to her. She, she'd been cooking that corned beef all night long, low. Oh, she braised it in Guinness <laughs> first, and she was telling me what all she did with it. I'm like, she knew her shit. Oh man, she was an Irish lady, and uh, I got to take all my St. Patrick gear off and. Hook it all up together so I can save it for next year. It was cool putting this on and then have it be, look, it's even a little bit loose. I used to wear these and they were really tight around my wrist, but now they dangle a little. And my girl never even got sick. I never got sick. She did good. I even got home. I didn't have to run straight to the bathroom. I feel pretty good. Of course, there was no fried foods, so maybe that was a plus for me. I'm ready to go again. You ready to go again? They did a real good job. He just said, I won't eat for the rest of the night. I probably won't either. I'm, we are we are full. <laughs> it's like 4.30. We got there when they opened, started serving, and then ate and rolled out. She was just filling up, like I showed you, filling up. Did I show you? She was filling up everything fresh when we were leaving. Um, so, yeah. So, happy St. Patrick's Day. Now I'm going to really, take off. Really he keeps saying, really, really good. And he took his own little uh, hot vinegar to put on his cabbage. And uh, so now we're getting ready to chill. Oh, no, it's nap time. Nap time. <laughs> okay, bye. I guess you're going to tip up. <laughs> Can I get you to tip down any? No, you're sitting in my little holder thing. Um... Let's at least turn you where I'm in the middle of the screen. Someone sent me a card, which I ripped open with my finger, but I have not looked at yet. Although there is a sticker of a cute sloth on the back. Woo-hoo. Aw, look at. Oh, 
so cute. Hi, Stacy. Sorry to see that you have been in the hospital recently. Hope things progress well. Um, Lucia. I hope that's how you say it. Thank you so very much. I am feeling so much better. Uh, why won't this go into here? Okay. Um, and guess what? Last night, after the St. Patrick's Day dinner, I had no issues. None. Zero. My stomach didn't bubble. It didn't hurt. It didn't do anything. I was so happy. Because later on in the evening, I was like, how you doing? How's your stomach? I'm like, it is perfect tonight. He's just ran to go get dinner from a legion right now. We're having a Swiss steak tonight. And uh, I got to go in there because he should be back any minute now. Because um, he ran to get kitty litter and go get our dinners. Uh, I just got done cleaning all the garbage out. Monday, garbage goes out in the evening. And then it gets up, picked up early Tuesday. And Dad's going to do litter. Um, I bought a tray, a mat to put underneath her litter box. Because sometimes she just, she'll go in there and she'll go to pee and sometimes she just misses and pees off the edge because she thinks she's in it but she's not in it so i got a mat to put under there plus she always kicks litter out so she's over here sleeping she drove me crazy from like three to six o'clock this morning meow meow i could i didn't know what she wanted i tried to i crazy but now she's passed out and totally fine at Almost, uh, what time is it? Four o'clock in the afternoon? Makes me want to go and go, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Cause that's what it feels like she's doing in the middle of the night. It's like, hey, hey, hey. But then she won't, I don't know. I offer her treats. I try to get her to just lay next to me. And then she has nights where she's fine. But then there are some nights that she is just on it. And last night was one of those nights. I just kept saying, please stop. I want to sleep. Please let me sleep. <laughs> uh, but now, going to go to the kitchen. Actually, I got to make a pit stop in the bathroom first. And head to the kitchen. Tomorrow is take payroll to shop and go grocery shopping. I got lists to make salads to put in the fridge and vegetables and I already have celery and carrots, but I'm going to get like romaine lettuce, some tomatoes, cucumbers, radishes. We need some onions because we have like two tiny ones left because we are an onion eating family. Um, which my dad hated onions when he was a kid. If he even thought something had an onion in it, he wouldn't eat it. But now he loves them. I don't know how that changed. But alright. I will probably be back tomorrow when we're out in the world. Happy Tuesday. I just got showered and dressed, just put my thermal on over my t-shirt, and we're getting ready to <clears throat> take payroll of the shop and go grocery shopping. I got my list on my phone uh, and apps. I have the Meyer app and Aldi app. We're going to both those today. Aldi first. That's where I'll get most of my produce. Except for turnips and radishes, sweet potatoes I'll get at. Meyer. They have them a little cheaper and they don't have turnips at all day. Because <laughs> I have some potatoes I want to fry. And we always like to fry them with onions and turnips sometimes. It's windy out there. First day of spring. It's like 31 degrees, but it's not snowing like it did yesterday. Ooh, ooh, I'm looking out the window. Garbage cans empty. That'll bring it in before we leave. Now we're going to get ready to roll out. Get ready to go out the front door and go, oh, it's cold. Great googly moogly, it's cold out here. It's brisk, especially when your hair's wet. <coughs> it's a brisk. It's right around freezing, but man, I miss those 60 degree days, but we're gonna have about, I don't know, a couple weeks out of like 30s, 40s, maybe 50s a few of those days. Uh, so yeah, man, chilly willy. Dad's got to go get his trash can. He's just opened up the garage door. Okay, here it comes. Got to go by. Made it to the shop. I see Matthew. First time I've seen him since he's been back. He started. Oh, here comes Dad already. He's in and out today. <clears throat> he just started back at the beginning of March. Um, he's one of our guys that gets played off in the winter time. But all right, 
we're gonna head to Aldi. Just got done at Aldi. I couldn't film in there. I was I was in my wheelchair, so I had to use my arms all the time. Their scooter was charging, so I was just wheeling around. Um, I'll do a haul when I get home. Now we're gonna head across the street to Meyer. I have a list for there too. Uh, so yeah, waiting for dad. He went to go take the cart back and get my quarter, which I gotta hide in my purse and my wallet. That's our Aldi quarter. For those of you who don't know, Aldi, you put a quarter in, you get your cart, and then when you take your cart back, you put it in to get your quarter back. Oh, here he comes, gotta go. We're cruising along. I'm going to the back and work my way forward. I think the first thing I'm gonna get some Lipton peach tea, but I gotta get to it. This is all alcoholic stuff here. Sad baby, there's a sad baby. Poor little kid. All right, I'm rolling. Dad's putting stuff in the back end. A lady at self-checkout, she goes, come on, I'll get you through real fast. So she got us through. Um, yeah, I'll show you what I got when I got home. I spent $100, 107 Dad spent, I don't know how much Dad was. I have the receipts here to put on my uh, app. All right, I'll see you at home. First batch, I got some egg noodles. I like to have those on hand in case I want to make chicken noodle soup. Dad got himself some jalapeno chips and some hot pork rinds, some strawberries. I got some little tomatoes. Dad likes these for breakfast. I got a cucumber, milk, peppers, romaine, some things for a Swiffer. And he's out getting more. Eh, I gotta get this stuff started put away. Okay, I'll do a few more. I got these, they're called plump, lemon plums. I don't know, I like to try new things. Turnips, uh, pears. Radishes, some granola to go in the yogurt I have yet to uncover. I still got a big bag over there and bags down there to unload. Kluski noodles, because next week I'm going to do cabbage and noodles. The Frederick's kettle dill pickle chips, which are good. And I got some regular wavy chips because I got dip that I haven't gotten to yet either. So I'm just making my way through it, man. Oh, and a loaf of bread over there. I've been sticking my produce on the counter, so I'm going to deal with that a little later. Next round, I have one bag left. Dad got some asparagus, so they had it on sale for 99 cents a pound. This weekend, I'm going to make them creamed asparagus and fried some fried potatoes. Uh, bananas that need to ripen a lot. They had all, it was, they were all green green. Um, some dip to go with the chips earlier. Salad dressing. I got some creamy poppy seed. I got Dad some chunky blue cheese. Yuck, yuck. And Western. Here is my yogurt. Got some shrimp to put in the freezer. I got, I haven't had these in so long. I just got me some because, you know, it was one of those, I'm going to get some. And onions. And some little paper plates. Still all my produce is down there. Now I got that one bag to go. And that's a lot of uh, cold stuff, meats and stuff in the freezer. Finally, we're to the end. Okay, you've seen the bananas. Chocolate milk. I have one in here and one out in the back room. I bought one of these last week and we ate it last night with our dinner. And these are really good, so I got two more. Savory Steakhouse. Uh, green beans and a peppery garlic salt. I got me just one of their brands of craft sing like craft singles because we're getting low. I got this sometimes if I'm hungry I just want a snack and this is what I like sometimes. Um, crab cakes I got two. I haven't found them there but lately. So when I saw them I'm like yeah they got them and he really likes them so I got two of those. These I'm gonna put in the freezer to have next week. Dad's gonna grill them. These I'm going to put in the crock pot soon. They had these 50% off um, and I'm going to just throw them in a crock pot. I got this one, which cost what? $250, $280. And then I got this one. So half off $467. And this one. I think I spent like $8 on these um, uh, three packs. I'm just going to put them with some barbecue sauce in the crock pot. I think that's all. So now I can really get everything put away. It's evening time. I'm getting ready to wash produce and get ready to put around in the kitchen, make salad, wash dead strawberries. Uh, I'm gonna steam that broccoli that's in that container with the blue lid. I'm gonna mix dead some jello with fruit in it. So here we go. We got a plan the sink. Well, I think I'm all set up. Everything's, the stuff I had to wash is in here. I'm going to use this old lettuce first and then see how much of this I need. Uh, and I already had carrots and celery. So we're going to make a big bowl of salad to have in the fridge. 
Here we go. Well, only thing left to do is to shake that bad boy up. I still have two romaines, which will make a nice big salad again. Carrot, celery, and then I put all my leftover radishes, pepper, and cucumber all in one bag. So, next is broccoli. Steam in the broccoli. Now it's time for some recliner time. I'm gonna watch. I'm watching Barb Hart's Abishola right now. I seasoned my boneless country ribs also to put in the crock pot in the morning. Um, so yeah, I got everything done. Jello made, salad made, broccoli cooked, pork ribs seasoned. Whoop whoop. I'm having me some. Welsh's gummies that I bought a few weeks ago at the store <clears throat> and a mango orange soda orange mango soda let me see hang on it is mango orange sun kiss yeah that's what I'm having this evening um but I'm gonna get all these clips together from the last couple days well, it'll be Sunday, Monday, and today. So three days. So I'll see you all later. I got to hit the button.